So here I got a um I'm gonna do a quick video here on some of these um Motu Origins fan favorites that came out recently. I just got a bunch of them that came out. A few more coming out. Um I think this is really the cheapest fucking cash grab that Mattel has come out with. Um like the line is not finished yet. We've been waiting like how long for figures like too bad and yet we're on the fucking 900th re release of Chira and fucking Merman and all this other shit and trap jaw. I mean, how many fucking trap jaws do we need? How many King Randars do we need? Um you know, and who who the fuck picked the fan favorites? The fans didn't pick them. They just randomly picked a bunch of fucking characters. Like, this line is getting annoying as shit to finish off. Like, I just want this line done with. Um, so, needless to say, I just got them just to get them, really. Uh, I ordered Ninja uh, months ago. Like, I think the beginning of the year I ordered them. I was supposed to get the original one. But, uh... You know, when all the, the figures finally came in to, into stock at Big uh, Bad Toy Store, then they changed the description and everything to, to fan favorite. So I had Ninja on pre-order for, I don't know, eight months. So I still got to get the original Ninja. Um, but um, if you've seen my other videos and you've seen my upstairs, I have pretty much every, you know, single figure. Um I'm kind of half-ass winging this video. I have COVID right now, so I, I, I'm not putting a lot into this. But there hasn't been nobody's really been talking about fan favorite the figures. People are really fucking confused when I try to explain it to them. Um, they basically kind of stopped the line. It's so fucking weird. They stopped the line. They put out filmation figures. And said, okay, we're going to start doing Filmation figures as part of Origins. But we'll continue doing Origins online. And then I, it's it, it's kind of just left you in a, like, what the fuck scenario is going on. And now they're adding all this other shit to Origins too. And now we have more exclusives coming to Walmart and Target that nobody asked for. Nobody asks for these exclusives that are impossible to get. So let's get into the, the, the fan favorites uh, a little bit here. So people ask me, um, is there any real difference between these figures and the other figures if they already got them? And I haven't really had the energy to go upstairs and do a side-by-side -side comparison and, and check it out. I just don't have the strength. Like I said, I have I have COVID. I was in the emergency room. I'm not doing good. But today's the first day I'm kind of up and around. Um, and these figures just came in yesterday. And I, I just kind of wanted to do something because I've been laying in bed for two weeks. So um, on, on Merman here, one thing you can notice compared to the other Merman is his sword is displayed out in the front here. That's one thing I noticed with Merman. Um, the packaging, they all say fan favorite in the corner there. As you can see. Instead of new for, you know, new for 20, new for 23 up there, like the beautiful Snake Mountain. I mean, did a uh, good job with that, with the art. Unfortunately, a lot of people open up their box and somehow the fucking playset is still damaged inside. Like, how the fuck does that even happen? Who the fuck knows? The people at Mattel are fucking ignorant, fucking clumsy dolts. That's all I could say. Uh, She-Ra is pretty cool. This is the only one I really noticed a, 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 a difference in. You can see her weapon, her sword is in the front there. Her, her shield is in the front. Uh, for those asking, yes, she has the new knees. The new knees, the new knee sculpt. A um, little bit of different gold coloring, I think, on the cuffs there. And a zoom in on her face there because um, in the past we had variants of her face. 
Um, but besides that, I, I didn't really see a difference in, in, in uh, Trapjaw and King Rander and Ninja. I, he seems to be the same. Webster's the only one I didn't get collector grade. Because, of course, what Big Bad Toy Store does is they have standard grade. And then, you know, you think that's the only thing that they have. And then once the stock comes in, you've already sent your pile of loot out. And then the next day, it's like, oh, we have collector grade. So, of course, when I got this, um, all these boxes were piled on top of poor Webster. And uh, the card got pretty damaged. Um, but <clears throat> I've said in other videos, I've tried, I'm trying to get the most mint collection. Just my personal preference. I just want a complete mint. As mint as I can get for this Cause this is going to be my last toy line I collect. Um, so this has been a goal of mine. So Webster is going to have to be one of, you know, the 1% that just isn't mint. I mean, you know, the rest of the card's pretty nice. It's just the bottom's kind of a little banged up once you, if you take them out of the, the, um, the case here. Um, but still, I mean, you know, Webster's a nice figure and, and a lot of people couldn't, never uh grabbed them so for openers you know i i would say for these fan favorite um figures are good for openers uh, <coughs> openers that missed um missed some of these figures there's a few people that missed uh rander and, and ninja and webster um so they're happy to get these um some exciting news that people will be happy to hear is Orko is going to come out as a fan favorite. Uh, that'll be his third release. If you didn't catch him the first time and you didn't catch him the second time when he was a Target exclusive and everybody scalped him and you can only get him online, now he's coming out for a third time. Before the whole line is even finished yet, you'll have your third Orko will be coming out as a fan favorite. Um, who are... And oh, oh... Here's another one that's coming out. Evil Lynn. So another character nobody asked for that's still in a lot of stores that uh, is not a fan favorite is, yes, Evil Lynn will be coming out as a fan favorite. Who the fuck voted for that? Nobody. Mattel just pulled it out of their ass. But um, if you look at the back, if you're a person that does not open, like me, um, also, might I add, these mock master cases are shit. Don't get them. They fucking suck. And I'll show you why. Look at this big ass fucking gap. This is why I don't get mock master cases. The only reason why I have this case is because it came with a different figure that I bought. And I ran out of cases, so I'm temporarily using this. But, I mean, look. See that? You don't want wiggle room like that when you're moving stuff around. Because that can bend your cards up. Still offers protection and everything, but, you know, you don't want wiggle room. Do the shit right or don't do it at all, mock masters. Fucking idiots. Um, so the back of these cards, you can see got Ninja, Trapjaw, Webster, King Rander. So the, if you're not, if you're not an opener, you know, the card, the card backs are a little bit different. What you'll be happy to know is, let's look on the back of She-Ra and guess who's coming? Triclops. Triclops and Zodak. I mean, nobody really asked for Zodak. He's still kind of lingering on Big Bad Toy Store. Um, so is Merman and so is She-Ra. So I don't know why any of these three were released as a fan favorite. But again, that's Mattel for you. But Triclops is finally coming. So really, the only fan favorite and people really wanted Triclops who should be coming this year. I'd say probably within the first quarter. I would say within the first three months of 2024, you'll probably see a, a, a Triclops. But um, 
he'll probably sell out pretty fast and we'll see how many they make of him if they make like fucking a five quantity or, or what they do you know who knows so you know that's the the fan favorites so far um we have one two three four five we have six here six here plus the orco that's coming triclops um you know evil lynn and um zodak hopefully they stop at that and they continue with the line and uh finish it like we've been hoping for the past year stop putting out bullshit that it has shit to do with anything um yeah I, i'm just I'm, this line is just infuriating um so that's 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 the fan favors i don't i don't really know there's not much to say <laughs> besides that like i said i have covid so I'm, I'm not really in a very good mood but um i think even if i didn't have covid and i made this video i wouldn't be in a good mood anyways <laughs> i'm just so fed up with this line i just think you know from the comments i i got on on the other video i did with with this entire line in, in the big rant that i did for an hour every single person agreed with me they're really like you know i went to power con and even the vendors there were like look i'm not doing this shit next year they're like they're like i am so sick of this line and trying to get these figures and sell them and set up for them and you know they're like i'm just done with it i am so fucking done with it so yeah i mean they'll go ahead and print off a fucking thousand masterverse vigors that nobody's gonna sell that's gonna end up on clearance but god forbid they put out to the, the fucking origins that we want like too bad and um you know <laughs> whatever